Good afternoon, Facebook TV land. This is Catherine Gage, Mary Kay Independent Beauty Consultant, also known as KG Beauty Within. And I'm just on here to say hello today. I'm enjoying this nice weather. And I thought I'll come on and just do a quick, um, quick tutorial on how, um, for my Mary Kay uh, entrepreneurs also and for um, any any entrepreneur really um, how to market your business online um, is something it's a new tool that um, is out there and it's here for us to utilize and um, some of the things that you need to do um, that I have been doing is that with the Mary Kay business uh, we have our you can purchase a website um, you can purchase a website and this website is a very good website and it pretty much does a lot for you there's a lot of resources on there that you could tip into um, to uh, get your business started but another thing that a lot of people do that um, that sometimes they don't think about is that they're so busy uh, trying to just say I'm a Mary Kay independent beauty consultant that you do not really brand yourself and I did not do that at first because I was just, you know, Catherine Gage, Mary Kay Independent Beauty Consultant. And I've been um, working with um, a marketing team um, trying to build my business. And um, some of the tips that I have gotten uh, with this marketing team um, is that um, you can build your business uh, with blogging. I'm working with uh, Angela uh, Tyson now. And we have the um, Empower Network that um, is a very good uh, source to start blogging. Uh, you want to start branding yourself. So I prayed and I asked God for a name that would symbolize who I am as a Mary Kay Independent Beauty Consultant. But also would uh, let my customers and potential team members know um, what I stand for. And he gave me the name KG Beauty Within. And so that's who I am. I'm KG Beauty Within. And the reason why um, this name uh, was given to me was that my passion is to show women and men, boys and girls, how to have beauty from within. And I want to, you know, build the Mary Kay uh, base of proper skin care, letting you know about the proper skin care, letting you know about the tips and the tools on how to apply your makeup, but also to also to help empower you to feel like you are important to be beautiful from the inside out because it's not all about what um what kind of makeup you have on it's not all about that but what is most important to me is that you feel good about yourself from the inside out and i did not feel that for a very long time okay when i grew up in grew up Okay, we have always been very beautiful young girls. Me and my sisters we have always been very beautiful young girls. But in high school, we were picked up on tremendously. And a lot of it was because, you know, we, we did not have the proper things to, you know, take care of ourselves. And there's no, that is no slack on anyone. But the same people that love us so much now were the same people that put us through so much and even though I had not had a weight problem and I had the best figure I thought in the whole wide world I went through a time in my life where my self-esteem was very low I was had just got into a relationship and it was not the best relationship and my self-esteem went down tremendously so I did not feel that beauty from within that I'm trying to teach women, boys and girls and men to have. And for a long time, I would look in the mirror and I always thought I was the bum, you know, and I always portrayed myself as, as oh, I am the bum. But deep down on the inside, I was so lonely and I was so hurt because I did not feel beautiful. I did not feel as beautiful on the inside as I always portrayed. And a lot of times we... Uh, we go through life living a facade. We have so many different faces and so many different hats that we wear every day. 
You know, you put on a smile on your face, and a lot of time you don't even know what that person is going through when they've got that smile on their face. You don't know that, you know, they just might have gotten fired from a job, or you don't know that they have a bad relationship at home, or they just, they're just in a very bad situation. You don't know that all the time. And so what I have always tried to do is make people feel important. It's always been something, a very goal for, for me is just to, I'm a very complimentary person, and I always would find something. Something, I would find something to compliment you about. Excuse me, I'm trying to get myself together here. I will always try to find something to compliment you about. Sometimes it could be a shirt or your earrings or something. And people sometimes feel that I feel like I am faking. But the truth of the matter is I am not faking. I had one co-worker and she had this beautiful shirt. And I just love this shirt. And I worked with her for like about six years. And I was like, oh, I love your shirt. I just love your shirt. She goes, Catherine, I wear this shirt almost once a week. And I said, well, I love it every time you wear it. And she said, you know, that was just me. I'm a complimentary person. And I am so sincere with that because I want you to feel important. And so the number one tip that I would like for you to know when you're marketing your business is to market yourself. Find something about you that stands out more than anyone else and you market that. So blogging is another tool that you can use. You can do blogging. You can uh, write about things that are important to you, especially if you're doing products or something. You can uh, blog about a product of the month. You can blog about things in your life because people want to know about you. They don't want you always in front of their faces trying to sell something. And yes, we are in a business, but you know, you got to, you have to be real with this and you have to be a person of integrity. So the best thing that you can do is just to brand yourself and to uh, you can do uh, blogging uh, there's also video blogging out there where you can do a video there's tutorials or there's different type of tutorials out here for everything and so you can utilize social media in such a way that you can build your business uh, from the from 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 small to to great but you got to know how to do that another thing I would say is invest in yourself you know, invest in the conferences that you go, that they offer. Invest in going to the classes. The, uh, sometime, you know, especially with Mary Kay, we have a meeting at least once a week. Our director has something going on that will help us to get the tools that we need. Now, just don't depend on just that director to give you everything. But you got to get out here and you got to get the resources yourself because that is how I have really brought my Mary Kay business along is because I have a I have a desire to learn you know I love learning that has been that has been instilled in us since we was little my sisters and I really you know I remember a time when I took a I took a, a seed to my pastor Norris T. Pullins senior and I was so happy with that seed he said hmm so that mean you're doing average work and girl, oh, Lord, I was deflated because Pastor had told me I was doing average work. And I'm like, Pastor, but I made a C. He said, yeah, but could you, what could you have done to bring this up to a B or an A? So in your business, always be thinking about what can I do to improve myself? How can I um, market myself to make some, you know, to make to improve myself, you know, and, and, and you were going to have, you're going to have bloopers. Okay. There's going to be times to like, and like with your skincare class, uh, you may, you may be able to, you may have a blooper somewhere, you know what I'm saying? But you have to learn how to have fun and just say, oops, you know, laugh with it and keep on going. The more you do this business, the better you're going to get. I guarantee you. Another thing I love about the Mary Kay business is that we have a good, 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 good. Can I say it again? Good motto. God first, family second, career third. I love that motto that Mary Kay Ash has. She went through her, the whole business. That's what she implemented. And you know what? That has put so much things in perspective in my life. And everybody know my story about, you know, when my daughter got sick and, and we had to go through a battle of, you know, a mental illness. And you know what? I had to decide what was more important. You know, of course I wanted to make a sale, but I had to make a decision that I, you know, right now my priority is going to be focusing on God and to be focusing on my family. And 
And I believe that if, if I had not had this opportunity uh, presented to me, that I would not be there. Because I would used to, I used to tell you, I'm telling you what, I would freak out over everything. And sometimes I still find myself freaking out and I would have to just calm myself down. My sisters, they'll calm me down, cat, slow down, cat, slow down. I love my sisters, y'all. You know, I love my sisters. I'm going to throw that out there. That's a, that's a free tip for y'all. I love my sisters. I love all of you all, but I love my sisters. But anyway, um, so number one is you need to bring yourself, uh, start doing some type of uh, blogging to get your to get your products out there. You can do a product of the month. You can do a video, a tutorial. Um, there's other type of things that you can tap into like a Weber. Uh, these are automated uh, responses uh, that you can get to that when you have people to get on your list, your email list, that you can send them out material. Now, also, if you're in the Mary Kay business, you can also build a professional Mary Kay page. You got to make sure that you follow the rules and guidelines of what Mary Kay is asking, okay? But the Mary Kay uh, fan page would be a good way for you to get your material out there. You can offer tips of the tips of the week, uh, looks. You know, you can do all type of things with the social media. And so... Tap into social media, and another thing is, you know, just market your business with your local, uh, with your local, uh, your community. You know, let the people know that you're doing things. You know, if there's a chance for you to be a vendor, uh, if there's a chance for you to get a table, you know, sometimes these tables you can only pay, you could pay like twenty-five dollars or whatever, fifty dollars. You know, go with what's in your budget, okay? And um, set up your table, set up your booth, and you know let your products uh, display your products you know have it looking a nice fancy way you can offer free drawings you can offer um uh, free samples whatever you want to do with your business you pretty much can do that that's one thing i love about mary Kay is that mary Kay is so flexible you know we choose how much we want to work and we choose our hours you know so that is something i'm working for is financial freedom y'all look at me and y'all look at me good I'm going to be a national sales director. I know you hear it. I know you see it. And you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's just talking about you. Just watch and see. I'm going to be a national sales director because I've got a lot of women that i got to help. And I'm just not out here for helping women. I want some men on my team. I, you know, my my name is Fashionly Faithful, Fashionly Faithful Divas and Gents because I want to add some men on my team as well. Because I don't, I want to, I, the Mary Kay always told us about become, doing the full circle. And that's when you're selling, you're booking, and you're recruiting. You got to do the full circle. And I love on our, on our website, we have all kind of videos. And one thing, one of them that I've really been paying attention to is building your business with integrity. You, whatever, whatever you endeavor to do, you need to build your business with integrity. You do not need to do any tricks and gimmicks to get people on your team. Because you know what? You need to make sure that you're, that those people really want to do what, what they want to do this business. Don't get out there and give them any false hope. You know, let them know this is a business. And any business you have, you're going to have to work at. Now, I worked temporary for a seasonal job. And I worked at JCPenney's. And I made some really good money during that seasonal job. But let me tell you one thing. That was not an easy job, and it wasn't an easy work. So whatever you do, whatever you put your mind to, you're going to have to have a mind to work. And you know what? I had to stand on my feet. I had to smile. And I gave great customer service because that's the type of person I am. But at the end of the day, my husband had to have some water ready for me for me to soak my feet because my feet were hurting because I wasn't used to standing on my feet like that because I have had a lot of office jobs, you know, in the past now. But you know what I'm saying? But my husband was there and my mom, my mama had to help me out. I'm telling you, it was not easy work. So, you know, that's some of the things that a lot of people don't want to start a business. Oh, it's going to be so much work. Oh, I don't have the time to do it. Oh, you can make up a thousand uh, excuses as to why you don't have the time and why you can't do it. But you have to realize, you know, whatever you put your mind to do, you're going to have to work to do it. You're going to have to put in the work. And another thing is to make sure 
when you're building your business, follow up with your customers. If you sell them a product, call them or send them an email. Check with them. They want you to be personal. You know, I'm going global. I have customers that's I got customers that's that's that 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 uh, get on my website and order from me, and I ship it to them. You know, I have customers all over, but what I'm saying is that, you know, I try my best to be very personal with them and to follow up with them to make sure that I'm I'm giving them the best service. So these are just a few tips that I wanted to get on here and share with you on how to grow your business. I will have more tips to come, but in the process, in the time being, I want you all to enjoy the rest of this evening. Oh, it is a beautiful day. It's sunshine and I am enjoying it. I'm just, you know just sitting down and just really just wanted to get on here and do a video it's been a minute since i did a video um but um, but, um you know but i want everybody to know i'm doing better i am gonna slow down because i'm gonna tell you one thing that fall that i just did uh a couple of days ago really 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 uh has put a toll on my body so i'm gonna slow down and I'm going to get me some rest. And I want you all to enjoy this evening. And I will be back probably a little bit later. I'm, I'm thinking about doing some little tutorials or, or anything. Because I'm going to school. Y'all, I'm in, I'm in makeup school right now um, to be a makeup artist. And that's another one of my endeavors that I want to just, you know, I'm just trying to learn. And that, I, I think I know, that's that's one thing. When you got a business, you need to learn that business. Know your products. Know what they do, you know. That's another free tip I'm giving you there. Learn your products, you know, and believe in your products. Believe in yourself. Because if you can't sell it to yourself, you're not going to sell it to anyone. So you all have a blessed day. That was our Friday free tips on how to grow your business. Signing off. KG Beauty with Den. Peace, peace. Bye-bye.